I've learned that there are times when one camera is just not good enough. Hey guys, Daniel Zalero here. Last week I thought I would try something different. I wanted to see if I could combine the data from this color camera with the luminance data from this monochrome camera. Now I did this while imaging the Sombrero Galaxy. And not only did I use two different cameras, I also used them on two different telescopes. So the idea to combine two different sets of data from two different cameras came from a problem I had when imaging the Sombrero Galaxy a couple weeks ago. I was using my ASI 533 one-shot color camera with my 9.25 inch Schmidt Cassegrain telescope and the Hyperstar adapter. The problem is that the pixel scale on this setup is too small for galaxies and other small objects in the night sky. And not only that, but the seeing was pretty bad too. So I really wasn't happy with the data. I wish there was a way I could fix this data. Now I've read online about how you can combine data from two different cameras, two different telescopes with different pixel scales, but I've never done it before. So when I came up with this idea last week, I set up my four and a half inch AstroTech refractor telescope and I used my ASI 183 monochrome camera with that telescope. Now the ASI 183 has really tiny pixels, uh, 2.4 micron in size, which means that the resolution is gonna be a lot better with this camera. So using that camera with the telescope gives me much better pixel scale for smaller galaxies. The resulting luminance data ended up being much more detailed and much crisper than the color data from the other camera. Then using PixInsight, I was able to match the different pixel scales of the data from my color camera and from my monochrome camera together using the dynamic alignment process. If you want to see my entire workflow using both sets of data for the Sombrero Galaxy, I'll have a video up in a few days that I will link at the end of the video and also in the description for you. I'll even include a link for the raw stacked files if you want to follow along. Now, I know some of you are thinking, dude, why didn't you just use RGB filters with the mono camera to begin with? Because my Hyperstar setup is fast, blazing fast, F2.3 fast. When you compare that to my refractor at F5.6, including the reducer, the refractor is slow, sluggishly slow. Why didn't you just use the mono camera on the Hyperstar setup? Okay, you know what? Stop judging me. I am not the world's best astrophotographer. We all know who that is. It's a The point is, bad data doesn't necessarily have to be thrown away. Sometimes you can salvage it. And you also need to be willing to experiment a little bit with your astro gear or even with new processing techniques with your data because you never know, it might really pay off or fail spectacularly, but here's the thing, that's how we learn in this hobby, and you're not gonna know unless you're willing to try something new. 